Okay, so on to question number two, which is how do we convert Tor to ATM? So first, let's write down the conversion factor. So 760 Tor is equal to one ATM. So if we remember this conversion factor, then this will help us in converting Tor to ATM. So now let's just have like an example question. So for example, um, what is 10 Tor in ATM? So first, I like to show that what we're solving for will be denoted as x. So we're solving for ATM. So x ATM over 10 tor, which is what we're given in the question, is equal to, and now I like to write my conversion factor which will be in the same order as the numerator and denominator. So what I'm looking for will be on top. So one ATM will be on top. And 760 Tor is my denominator. So we can double check and know if you did the conversion factor correctly. If when we multiply 10 Tor, it should cancel out on the other side. So let's show this by multiplying both sides by 10 Tor. Okay, so here you can see that my units for Tor will cancel out. And now I can solve for x. So if we do 10 divided by 760, you should end up with 0 0.0132 ATM. Okay, so this is an example of how one can convert toward an ATM. So let's see what the junior tutor said. A barometer is an instrument that is used to measure the gas pressure using the principle of the height of the column of mercury. A millimeter of mercury, or mmHg, is an example of one unit of gas, and equivalent to this is the tor. The latter unit is named after the Italian physicist Evangelista Torricelli. On the other hand, the standard unit of pressure is Pascal, or PA, which is named after the French mathematician uh, Blaise Pascal. Another unit of pressure is the atmosphere, or ATM. It's often stated as pounds per inch squared, or PSI. Standard atmospheric pressure is equal to one ATM of pressure which is equal to 760 millimeters of mercury and 101.3 kilopascals. There are two ways to convert TOR to ATM. The first one is we can divide the ATM by 760 to obtain its equivalent value in TOR, since one ATM is equal to 760 TOR. On the other hand, to convert ATM to Tor, we divide one ATM by 760 and we will get 0 0.001316. Hence, one Tor is equal to that in ATM. For example, we will convert five Tor to ATM and we will have to use a simple dimensional analysis. So for their example, they had five Tor and when you divide it by 760, you get your answer in ATM. So the solution is correct.